Hi guys, my name is Bill, and in the last video that we made, we were troubleshooting the Samsung refrigerator, and we determined that the relay was bad on the control board. Well, in this video, what I want to do is go ahead and cut that relay open and take a look inside and see if it isn't something we can fix. Maybe it's just carboned up, or see if it's actually just burnt completely up and needs replaced. So that's what we're going to do in this video. All right, so here's our board. So basically, we're just going to remove all the plugs. Now, the reason I want to do this is for my own personal preference I have before seen where contacts and certain timers and stuff have just become really dirty therefore they didn't work you clean them up and then they work perfectly fine so I want to see if the same principle applies I have no idea what we're gonna find when we cut this open but that's what we're gonna do Okay, so from this point right here, we can go ahead and just unclip it. It's not screwed in. Basically, there's a little tab right here. We'll just pull back on that. And the whole board comes out. And this is what we're going to be messing with. All right, so basically, I just have a little Dremel tool. Probably use a pretty low speed. I'm just going to cut right around, the, right around the ring of this and see if I can pop the top off. This may or may not work. Let's find out. Okay, so what we're looking at right here, this is the coil, this is what gets the low voltage signal that pushes out the solenoid, which closes the contacts. You can see the contact right there. Now the contacts are extremely burned up. I don't think there's any good reason to try to clean those up and reuse them. But without a doubt, this is definitely our problem right here. The relay was working fine, it's just that the, the contacts were so burned up that this didn't have enough travel over to really make a good connection here so that's why we have this which is the burnt up carbon and stuff from a bad connection so we're definitely going to have to either replace the board or replace the the relay here real quick I want to show you guys something here if you guys ever go to cut these cut one of these open or something similar to it when I was cutting around the edge I actually cut the copper wire here. I don't know if you can see that or not. But even if I could have cleaned these contacts and reused them, I ruined the relay because there is no space between the plastic and the actual relay. So I would suggest if you guys were going to cut this open to cut across and around and only take off this side. Because if you cut around this edge, you're probably going to mess up the coil and that's what I did okay guys so that's what the inside of the relay looks like when we cut it open so that basically just you know confirms that the relay was bad the contacts were burnt up that that relay is not going to be reliable I don't feel like cleaning it would have been the best option you, you might have been able to stick something in there to push those together to temporarily keep it running until you get a new board in the mail or something like that now ultimately this refrigerator is going to my mother so I'm going to order a new board and put a brand new one on because I don't want to give her something that's not reliable. What I'm going to do with that board is send it to a YouTuber, Mr. Mac, and he has the skills to actually take the relay off and put a new relay on that board, and I'll probably just keep it as a backup for my mother. That way if she ever has any problems in the future, then we have something that, you know, she don't have to lose her food or something like that. So if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you dislike the video, you can go ahead and dislike it. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and do that now, and thanks for watching.